Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss the tumor's grading and staging. This is a very important topic and it's commonly questioned. Tumor grading refers to the cellular differentiation, meaning the individual changes that occurs to the cancer cells. And this usually indicates prognosis. Tumor staging, however, refers to the disease development as a whole. These two classifications are independent of each other. So a patient can have high grade with low stage or the opposite. Let's talk a little bit more about grading. So it reflects the actual morphology and mitotic activities of the individual cancerous cells. This has very high prognostic correlation. When the individual cancer cells are well differentiated, this means that they closely resemble the paternal cell that they came from. We call this a low grade, so it has good prognosis. And when the cells are anaplastic or undifferentiated, it means that they have very different morphology from the paternal cell. And we call those high grade. Tumor staging, however, is a little bit different and it takes into account the disease as a whole. We classify it using T and M, so T for tumor size, N for nodular involvement, and M for metastasis. And the staging will be written like this, T followed by a number, N followed by a number, and M followed by another number. The higher the number, the worse the stage. M0 means that there is no metastasis, while M1 means that there is metastasis. Sometimes after T and M staging, we add letters like C, P, or B. Adding the letter C means that the diagnosis was made clinically. Adding the letter P means that pathological staging was made. And adding the letter B indicates tumor symptoms like fever, weight loss, and night sweating. And here's a small quiz. So which of the following has the worst prognosis? And here is the answer, because it's poorly differentiated. And prognosis is indicated by the grading, not the staging. Alright guys, hopefully this helps. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I did my best trying to explain it. And I'll see you guys around.